Today I'm up on my RV roof and I'm doing some um, roof maintenance and cleaning. I have already washed it. I used Zip Wax Car Wash to wash it the first time. And um, the second time I used, uh, I used this, I, I did it a second time. I used some um, Protectol. This stuff right here, whew, this stuff right here is called Protectol. Now this is rubber roof treatment. What I used was a rubber roof wash. But I'm about to use the treatment, which is what this video is all about. All right, here's my rooftop. Now, my uh, we live the majority of the year. We are in the Pacific Northwest, up in uh, Washington State. We get a lot of rain, and this rubber roof has held up miraculously well. You can see some of these little marks that it's starting to get in the back here, uh, but for the most part, it's nice and clean. Mostly because I've used a conditioner or a roof treatment on this rubber roof. There have been no holes and very few um, really horrible streaks. However, this year I let it get dirtier than I normally do. And uh, if I keep that up, my roof is gonna be screwed up. So today, um, after washing it twice, I'm now putting this treatment on. It is called Protectol Rubber Roof Treatment. It can be used for high heat. It can also be used for, um, for really rainy areas or high moisture areas. Um, this is my first time using it, but I've read a lot of good things about it. And I used the clean, the cleaning agent that you put on before it, and it has worked very, very well for me. All right, so once you've washed your roof thoroughly and it's cleaned up, you only need two items for this. A sponge mop and a spray bottle. We're gonna put the rubber roof treatment inside the spray bottle. All right, now, this stuff is a little bit sticky. Sometimes, you may wanna use your hands, or excuse me, you wanna use a pair of gloves. And um, another thing, you can't walk on it after you use it. So I've put it in about this three foot strip right here so far, you cannot walk on it. So you start at the front of the coach, work your way back to the ladder, and then you have to let it sit for 24 hours. Another thing, uh, you don't wanna do it in too high heat. It's gonna be hot today, it's gonna be like 97 here. Technically, I'm not supposed to be doing it, but I'm in the shade, so it should be okay over here. But uh, that part of the sun, that part where it's sunny and it's like 97, it's gonna be an issue. I'm actually gonna turn the motor home around, let it cool off before I apply it. You don't want it to do it in too cold a temperature, you don't wanna do it too high a temperature. 90 degrees is actually the upper limit. You wanna put it in uh, between 55 and 90 degree temperature outside. Because once you spray it on, it'll dry real fast. And that's how you're supposed to apply it, by spraying. Alrighty, this is what we're gonna do. Spray it on like this. About three by three foot area. All right, then you get your sponge. All you do is work it. That's it. Work, you just wanna work it in. Very simply. Personally, I do it twice. Once I've got it worked in nice and easy, you don't need any water. Once I've got it worked in nice and easy, edges too. I'm gonna go through and spray more on and do it again. All right, so I've applied it to about half. Starting at the that mid, mid area there, it is applied. And I've been waiting to see some sort of difference. And you know, I don't really see a difference. And I thought there would be. But when I put my hand down to touch it, man, this feels nice and smooth, like a rubber roof. And this feels chalky. Your fingers come up actually white and chalky. That chalkiness is your roof deteriorating. You wanna put this stuff on because you don't want that chalkiness. Okay, so it is now uh, two days later. I am putting on the second coat. The first coat went, went very well. This does not feel chalky anymore. I put my hand over where I haven't worked. It's all chalky, but once I put this stuff on, 
not chalky at all. I also did the spray bottle method the whole way, but now I'm just pouring it on and rubbing it, rub, rubbing it in with my uh, sponge mop here. And I gotta tell you, it's working fantastic. This roof is gonna be like new. Now it's not one of those seals that paints it white. There are roof seals that you can put on that paints it nice and white as well. And those are pretty cool. This is a milky substance that has, is not white um, and doesn't paint anything white. It just is super effective. So I'm pretty pumped about it. Rubber roof treatment. Protect all.